Greetings, Earthlings. We are back with Brandon. I cut Brandon before, and he maintained his length. You know these cuts. The cuts that make your day easier. That the moment you see them, you smile and know, man, I don't have much to do. This fella just wants a taper. And that's what I normally did with Brandon for quite a while. And then one day, Brandon came in and said, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore, Fonz. I don't want to maintain this look. I'm tired. Cool, Brandon. Let's uh, let's go ahead and um, buckle up. Because, uh, yeah, I'm looking at you. You're about to go. You're about to be obsolete. It's go time. Grab the Clippers, Fonz. Yes, the Ergos. That's what we're using today. Grab the number four guard. Grab the number three. Shoot, might have to just go to number two against the grain. Yeah, let's go with the number two against the grain. Let's get you right. Let's get you really short because you don't need all this long hair anymore, Brandon. You've had enough time to enjoy it and maximize it and have that iconic look. But just like The weekend did, you had to let it go. Sometimes letting go of the look is the most refreshing thing someone can do to their image. But then I feel like for some people, it's like losing their powers. I remember when T-Pain cut his dreads off. He never, he was never hitting after that, you know? Shoot, Lil Wayne is still holding on to what he has left. But not you, Brandon, not you. You're staying true to what makes you happy. I don't know about you, but the next best thing after cutting that much hair off is shampooing it. Brandon, I'm not going to let you wait, bro. We're going to do this right here, right now. A lot of you already know, I don't just do one round of shampoo. I go beyond. We got to go beyond out here. And I like to at least do two rounds. Sometimes there's need to do three, but that wasn't the case. Brandon has been taking care of his scalp. There were certain spots though that I did notice were a little lighter than others. So we're gonna be on the lookout for that later on this service, but let's go ahead and finish this out. Uh, always use conditioner guys. Don't be out here being cheap now. Don't skip steps. Go ahead and condition the hair and lock it in with some cold water. Now, if you're wondering what it takes to go ahead and dry this, don't leave it at using a towel. Get a blow dryer use it i know some of you don't want to but you know i didn't want to and i found out the hard way that leaving the hair wet doesn't work out with the clippers well so you know if you want to maintain your clippers and take care of them uh dry the hair make it easier for your clippers to work So initially when I asked Brandon in the consultation or the beginning of the service, because the consultation is throughout the whole service, you know, just doing it in the beginning. But when I did ask him about the specific haircut that he wanted, he said that he still wanted some hair on the sides. And that's why we didn't go for a skin fade because honestly, it would have been nice to see a skin fade on him. The base of this haircut is a number one, as you already saw. We kept it pretty high on the dark end when it comes to the number two against the grain. And the high taper basically helps because, you know, he has low density around the temple area. There's no reason to try to do a C cup on him. It looks cleaner. It's gonna last longer. And that's the purpose to me, at least, to have a high taper. If you have any light areas, High tapers take away from that. They take the attention away from the temple area or if you have any receding corners, high tapers are a must unless you want to just go ahead and grow the hair out, which he did. Before I forget, if you ever feel like your client is too tall and you have to run the guard around the crown area, I suggest, and I've never said this before, I suggest to tilt your client back, kind of like when you, you're about to do like a, like a facial service or a beer service or anything like that. Tilt them back just a little bit, but tell them to still keep their head forward and straight. You don't want them to tilt their head back and literally you can get that crown area so much easier if you do that. Quick tip.
cool. So by now we've already applied our setting lotion and right here I'm using a pretty soft bristle brush. I have a few more options now that I use. I don't really use this type of brush anymore. I'll have like, you know, a waiver brush that you can get off of Amazon. You know, a soft bristle to medium hold is usually a go-to to have in the barbershop. I wouldn't focus on having any hard bristle brushes. Typically people that uh, get a haircut or wave cut if you're bringing it down to like a two, uh, a hard bristle brush is not going to be the one to go because it's going to be too hard and too rough on the scalp. It's going to be uncomfortable. Hard bristle brushes are more for wavers that wolf wolf, meaning that the length of the hair is almost like it should be almost like a, a afro laid down. That's how much hair you need to, to use a hard bristle brush. So if you notice and you, you would know, you would know, like literally rub it against your hand. And if it hurts, that's not the brush to have. Now, when you lead up to checking your work, your lineup, always ask Brandon to, you know, stop shrugging his forehead. There's a lot of Brandons out there that, you know, they, they want to kind of like act surprised as they check their lineup. No, 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 Brandon, relax. Oh, and by the way, as you can see, Silas has long hair here and Silas has long hair no more, but that's neither here or there. Let's just go keep focusing on this beard. Um, I'm freehanding the beard right now with these ergos and I'm not using these anymore, but they are very, very comfortable to use when it comes to freehanding a beard or an Afro. Um, and, and that's really what you need, especially if you're gonna be holding them up for, for a long period of time. You know, there's some clippers out there, bro, that it could get, you know, like if you use the masters from back in the day, the corded ones, man, you're trying to get through that as fast as possible and things of bricks. You don't want bricks on your hands. You want light feathers. That's what you want, some light feathers. Then, then again, you know, a little weight like the seniors don't really hurt either, but anything heavier than that, I don't want it. It's not for me. Okay, Brandon, it's time for the beard to uh, be lined up a bit. And I wanted to double check it. I see it's a little light right here around the chin area. This, it's not connecting to the mustache. So I pretty much pick a space. Typically, I look at the lips, not your lips directly, just the, you know, I, I use them as a reference and I know I don't want to go near the ends of your lips. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just use that as a reference. And now we're just tapping away with the razor handle. Tap, tap look away, wipe it off on the towel, and we continue. Sometimes you might have to add a little air to your cheek right there because there's some spaces that become a little bit, you know, awkward for the razor to go through. So sometimes I might ask for some help, Brandon. Hope it wasn't a problem. I don't think it was. And let's continue. Sometimes, you know, you want to, not sometimes actually, all the time, come back and just clean by the ear just to make that beer line up sharper. Now, for some of you, you might believe I'm about to commit a sin. I assure you, I'm not trying to be sinful. I'm just trying to be helpful. And we can all agree that Brandon is looking fresh right now. I believe so. I hope you think so. But even if you think so, it doesn't matter as much as what Brandon thinks. And Brandon knows he looks good. You feel me? But this is a business too, no? Tu no cree? I think so. And, uh, you know, sometimes if you want to scale your business add a few services there's nothing wrong with that right and people appreciate it not to mention they might even ask for it okay check this out i'm gonna get this beam team xl i'm gonna go ahead and add a little no drip to it all right and we're gonna get it prepped up okay and after you apply a little bit of pressure you want to come back and refine it you don't leave it you don't just do an enhancement spray spray away and that's it, no, you gotta still come back. And by that, I just mean refine the cut after we apply pressure. And after we apply pressure, we are done.